Welcome to Lexcode. In this episode, we're going to be creating our command handler along with permission checks and a permission validation system. We're going to be listening on the interaction create event so we can listen and respond to the slash commands in that guide. So let's go ahead and start out. All right, so first of all, we're going to go to our validation folder. We're going to create a new file and call it permission.js file or permissions.js. So and you're gonna click on the first link in the description which is gonna take you to the source bin you're gonna copy the content of it and you're gonna paste it inside of that uh, permission.js uh, file uh, it contains an array that has every single permission that discord provides so we can check it against our slash commands permissions to so we can validate it now let's go ahead to our handlers folder and we're gonna create a new file and call it commands.js here we're gonna require that perms array so perms equals to require dot dot slash validation slash permissions then we're gonna require the client object so const client equals to require discord.js then we're gonna require the promise file from the util so const we'll leave the object empty and require util and inside of the object we're gonna type p and it should be auto completed to promiseify and then we can require the globe package const loop equals to require globe that we downloaded from our end, uh, event handler so if you haven't watched that episode i recommend you watch it then here we're going to type const pj equals to promise by passing the globe and we should be done for now now we're going to uh, type our parameters so we're going to open up a parameter for the client just like this and then under it we're gonna model export so we're gonna type model.exports then we're gonna async the client create an error function and here we're gonna uh, create a new table so const table equals to uh, we'll leave this uh, for now and here we're gonna require the uh, forgot to require the uh, si table so const ascii equals to require this package which we also downloaded inside of our event handler so here we're gonna type a new si um, and then here we're gonna set the command or the, or the name of the table to be commands loaded and here we're gonna create our empty array so commands array equals to an empty array and then here we're gonna await pj and here we're gonna pass in the process sorry process.cwd which is the process window slash commands slash store slash store.js file and we're gonna go ahead to our main folder and create our commands uh, folder and inside of it we're gonna create a category we're gonna call it whatever we want i'm gonna call it develop and here we're gonna dot map and then we're gonna async async the file and then we're gonna define the file each file inside of that array as the command so const command equals to require file now here we're gonna do a series of checks so we're gonna check if the command is missing a name so if exclamation mark command name then we're gonna return table dot add row uh, the first name is gonna be uh, we're gonna file split so file dot sorry file dot split because we don't have a name to go from we're gonna split the last argument to get the file name so uh, we're gonna split it with a slash and then we're gonna grab the seventh uh, argument here we're gonna add an emoji after the comma and type failed and then we can put another comma and type why the command loading is failed so we can type missing and name now we're gonna do another check so if exclamation mark command dot description then we're gonna copy this here we're gonna change the file split to the actual command name because if it's already passed this uh, if statement then it should have a name so we're gonna type command dot name we're gonna type failed missing uh description just like this now here we're gonna check if the command uh, has a set permission so if command dot permission then we're gonna open up a, a block and we're gonna check if perms dot includes the perms being that array that we imported from the permissions here we're gonna pass in the command dot permission then we're gonna return sorry we're gonna command or set the command default permission so command uh, let's see here yeah command default permission to be false 
else so if it doesn't include then we're gonna return a table saying that the permission is invalid so return my name uh, here we're gonna change it to be permission is invalid all right so now we're gonna go down a couple more lines and we're gonna set uh, or we're gonna create a new collection inside of our index uh, let's remove this and create it so client dot uh, commands equals to new collection that's how you create a collection and you need to require it from the discord.js package just like we required it from the client and now we're gonna go ahead over here and type client dot commands dot sets we're gonna set the command name and then the command and then we're gonna push our command inside of our array so we're gonna type commands array dot push we're gonna push the command then we're gonna go down a couple more lines and type await table dot add row uh, here we're gonna type the path or pass in the command dot name and then we're gonna add the blue emoji and say that successful and that should be it now we, if we exit out of this map we're gonna console log so console dot log uh, the table to to string and here uh, that's how you console load the table so we're gonna go down a couple of lines and type uh, permissions check inside of a comment so we know where, what is what and what is uh, where is uh, whatever so here we're gonna type client.on ready so whenever the client gets uh, ready uh, we're gonna async with an error function and here we're gonna define the main guide or the guide that we're gonna be using the slash commands uh, in because this is a guide slash command handler so we're gonna type const main guide equals to uh, await client dot guides dot cache dot kit and here we're gonna pass in the guide id so let's go ahead to our discord copy the id of uh, the guides and paste it paste it inside of this uh, uh, string see all right so now here we're gonna type main goal dot commands dot set here we're gonna set the commands array then we're gonna async the command And here we're gonna define the rules or grab the rules so const rules equals to command name create an error function and type or define uh, the command permission so const cmd perms equals to commands array dot find we're gonna find that uh, uh, the command permission inside of the array so find uh, c which is command c dot name is equals to command name dot permission and now we're gonna check if exclamation mark cmd perms so if there isn't permissions so we're gonna return return null also return zero and then here we're gonna return main guide dot roles dot cache we're gonna filter role to the roles that has the permission so dot permission uh see dot has sorry permissions dot has the actual cmd perms uh, and uh, this should be it so we're gonna exit out of it with a semicolon now we're gonna go down a couple of lines under the const rules and we're gonna define the full permissions so const full permissions equals to command reduce we're gonna reduce uh, use the reduce function so we can reduce the array uh, we're gonna reduce accumulator and then roll let me create an error function and type const rules equals to roles the role name and now we're gonna check if exclamation mark roles then we're gonna return accumulator now here we're gonna define the permissions so const permissions uh, equals to roles dot reduce we're also reducing the array with amv parameters or a and or uh, sorry um, we're gonna create another function now and we're gonna return an array Turn array dot dot a then inside of the uh, inside of the object we can pass in the id which is uh, the role id so id r dot id and then the type is going to be obviously role and then here is going to be permission set to true not permissions permission now here we're gonna um, provide an empty array we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna return return array accumulator 
the same concept id is going to be r.id the type uh, sorry the here we're going to type permissions permissions set to true and uh, this should be it let's remove this uh, and now here we're going to pass in an empty array too just like this and now uh, we're going to await we're going to go down uh, over here sorry over here and then we're going to await main guide dot commands dot sets or permissions dot sets we're gonna set the full permission object and this should be it let's put a couple of semicolons here and uh, yeah this should be it for our commands handler now we're gonna go over to our events we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it interaction and we're gonna create a new file and call it interaction create dot js file we're gonna grab our parameters so client and then command interaction and then the message embed just like this then we're gonna model dot exports then in the, the event is gonna be interaction create we don't have to worry about if we wrote it wrong because our validation system from the event handler will validate it uh, here we're gonna um, async execute the interaction client so we're gonna open up an object and here we're gonna require our parameters so let's go ahead and command interaction then client now here we're gonna check if the interaction is command so if if interaction dot is command we're gonna execute this code so we're gonna define the command first of all so const command equals to client dot commands dot get interaction dot command name then we're gonna check if the if a command doesn't exist so if exclamation mark commands then we're gonna return an embed so return uh, interaction to reply we're gonna return embeds inside of that array we're gonna create a new embed so new embed set the color to be red then set the description to be let's add an emoji for example and here we're gonna type uh, an error Occurred, sorry. Occurred while I'm pretty sure I wrote it wrong, but whatever. Uh, running this command, and then we're gonna type go over here and add the add um, symbols or whatever. We're gonna type client dot commands dot uh, delete. We're gonna delete that command from the collection. So interaction dot command name. And then we're gonna go down a couple of lines and type command to execute. We're gonna execute the interaction and the client so we can use them inside of our command. And uh, this should be it. So uh, now let's go ahead and create a simple command. We're gonna call it uh, thing.js. Uh, we're gonna require the command interaction. And here we're gonna model.exports. The name of the command is gonna be thing description is gonna be thing um, then the permission let's try our, our permission handler so for administrator then we're gonna execute the interaction and let's grab our parameters so command interaction and then here we're gonna type uh, interaction dot reply content phone or whatever so let's sort our bot and check for errors uh, so like we see here it didn't log our uh, oh yeah so it didn't log or it didn't run our commands handler because we didn't require it inside of our index so what we need to do is copy this line over here and change the events to be commands you don't need to create an array because we only have two uh, two handlers so let's start now you see that uh, uh, we got an error it's because the handler is called hand uh, commands not commands so let's restart again and i like we see here uh ready interaction creates successful the ping is successful but we got an error full permission all right in here we just have to delete the true just like this so, uh, on this uh, line 62 and the rules should be role not rules so and now it should run flawlessly so let's try now so node space dot now we see that events loaded and the command ping uh, was successful 
Now if we try out that command, so ping, it should send us with pong, it didn't, uh, command is not defined, so we're gonna go to our interaction create and re uh, rename the command to be command execute, sorry my bad, so now let's re restart again, try out our command again, and now we can say, uh, say uh, see that it responded with pong. Now because I have the role with the permission uh, administrator that we have set to the command, uh, now that I removed it, I can't use the command, but now that I add the role that has the, perm uh, the permissions required, now I can use it. So let's uh, check our validation system. If we go to our ping and we can remove the name, we're gonna restart the bot. And like we see here, ping failed, missing a name. Right, so now we're gonna uh, remove the description and we're gonna restart the bot again. And here you can see failed, missing a description. And now let's write our permission to be wrong. So let's write add miss whatever. And now let's uh, restart the bot. And like you see here, permission is invalid, but the bot didn't shut down. So now let's fix it. Or actually, let's remove this permission. And you can see that it's successful because we didn't set a um, permission because some commands are public. But yeah, let's set the permission to be administrator and it should be all good. So. Uh, this is it. I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys, uh, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.